welcome to nature shala and this would be the last video of the series exploring the flora around you so in this video we are going to take a look at the herbs shrubs and a little about the trees around us the first one would be talking about are the herbs ab herbs exactly kya hote hain aur inko kaise hum identify kar sakte hain तो हर्ब्स यानी एक छोटे छोटे प्लांट्स होते हैं जिनकी जो स्टेम होती है विच इज़ नॉट वन मेन स्टेम देर आर मल्टीपल स्टेम्स कमिंग आउट फ्रॉम द ग्राउंड और मोस्टली इनका कलर ग्रीन होता है एंड दज आर लीफी स्टेम्स दैट दे हैव ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज दी हरबेशियस स्टेम एज आई मैंशन अर्लियर इन द टाइप्स ऑफ प्लांट्स विच वी सो और uh, कुछ हर्ब्स के एग्जाम्पल जब हम देखेंगे तो आप समझ जाएगी कि एग्जैक्टली exactly हर्ब्स कैसे होते हैं सो सम ऑफ द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ हर्ब्स आर herbs are mainly known for their medicinal uses to abhi hum kuch aise herbs ke bare mein discuss karenge jo hum ghar pe bhi grow kar sakte hain and while i mention the name of this herbs you will also be able to see on the screen the medicinal and some other uses of this herbs so happens that people are most of the times confused between herbs and spices now both of these are very important in our indian culture spices is what made india very famous uh, in the start so uh, the herbs are basically the green parts the leaves of this herb plant while the spices could be any part of this plant they could be roots they could be flowers or they could be stem also so these are the this is the basic difference between the spices and herbs and both play a very important role in uh, food and the tastes of the indian food this idea of the medicinal uses of herbs it's not new the medicinal uses of herbs and their importance has been mentioned in ayurveda since 4000 bc so the next one here are the shrubs now shrubs just like herbs do not have one main stem but there are multiple uh, stems coming from the ground the main difference which you need to notice is the presence of the woody stems like herbs they don't have the green stems but the stems are actually brown and very sturdy which can uh, which helps the shrubs go a little bit uh, taller than the herbs now let us take a look at some of the flowering shrubs that we can see around us it so happens that uh, cattle they love to feed on the leaves of shrubs because these are uh, medium sized plants and it is easily accessible for the cattle to get to the leaves of this plant but there are still some shrubs uh, on which cattle just do not like to feed on and that's why the shrubs are also used to decorate the uh, highways or they are planted between the dividers or which are there along the roads So uh, let's see some of the shrubs that uh, cattle really don't like. Cattle uh, may not be liking some of the shrubs, but these butterflies they love these flowering shrubs a lot. These are the uh, larval host plants and also the nectaring plants. So here are some of the example of shrubs that butterflies really like. Most of us know that a garden which has a lot of vines that are creepers and climbers uh, as the main plants are called as the vineyard. So the garden which is dedicated or whose main type of plant is shrubs is called as the shrubbery. and the shrubs are basically categorized into two types uh, those are the deciduous uh, and the evergreen shrubs so deciduous are the ones who have leaves on them during a particular season and the leaves they just uh, shed away 
and uh, the new leaves come up every season while the evergreens are the one uh, who have th- this green foliage throughout the year so these are the two types of shrubs that we can find in india so the last plant that we are going to discuss here is tree and uh, to distinguish tree from the other plants the main pointer is its main stem like i mentioned in shrubs and herbs these have got uh, many multiple stems coming out from the ground but the tree it has got one stem one main stem which comes from the ground and then as it goes up it is further divided into branches so now we would just take a look at uh, pictures of some of the amazing trees of india in the earlier videos we had talked about the native trees of india the sacred trees of india so i'll be putting up the links in the description and also these links are uh, available on the top of the video you can any time go and look at this videos and you'll get more idea about the trees of india so that brings us towards the end of the video and also the end of the series in this series we saw different types of plants we categorized them based on the simple uh, pointers then we also saw about the different flowers and different fruits of india so i hope that this series helped you gain a little bit of insight towards the flora of india do like the video share with all your friends and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe and press the bell icon because we would be coming up with more such series more interesting things about the nature and the environment of india so till then stay tuned take care of yourself and stay at home